Good morning from Two Happy Children Farm. Uh, it's Tuesday morning and I'm doing my plant tissue test again. And I'm in the low uh, fertility part of my field. And uh, we're looking at some stuff and seeing how things are progressing. Uh, one update is uh, the canopy is coming up. Um, last week we were at 52%, and this morning we're uh, measuring 68%. So we've seen some good growth in the last week. Uh, we had an inch and a half of rain on Saturday, and uh, that's helped with the plants. If you look at these plants, I'm pretty happy with the green from top to bottom. I'm still seeing some striping in here. I'm assuming now that this is magnesium. Um, but one thing I don't see, uh, like, like you see a lot of around here, is the bottom leaves are not yellow. They're fully green. So I haven't been pulling any potassium up from my bottom to feed the top leaves. Um, last week our scores were kind of surprising. Uh, we hadn't had rain for 17 days and I was able to pull in uh, nitrogen and phosphorus. Both of those went up quite a bit. Um, the highest levels I had seen at V7 uh, since I started doing tissue tests. So my phosphorus levels in this field were about 0.4, which is excellent. My potassium had fallen to about 1.8, which is low. And uh, my nitrogen was like 4.8, which is on the high side. And if you remember this area, we do a side dressing, um, but we'd only had about 0.6 inches of rain to incorporate it. We dribbled 32% uh, on top, along with 12 pounds of phosphorus. So despite the dry weather, um, 17 days with no rain, I was able to pull in more of each, which I think is exceptional. Um, it could be that dribbling that phosphorus is just what this crop and my soil needs. Um, I've been a broadcast phosphorus guy before then, but uh, as you know, phosphorus, the, the roots move to places where it's more dense, and maybe that's just what's working out here. Uh, potassium, on the other hand, needs water to move it, so my potassium numbers are going down. The other thing that I did invest in on this field you may look at is uh, a treatment with Quadris at V5. So that's a $3 an acre investment right now with the prices of strobilium. And uh, these plants stayed healthy despite that dry time. And that's what we get here in Texas. We can have We've already had nine inches of rain during the season, but it shuts off for three or four weeks. And uh, during that three week shutoff, my plants kept them moving. And about two weeks ago is when you start getting really mad about no-till because as you can see, I don't have a uniform stand like conventional till guys do. Um, and my emergence is always off so I can go five days between plant emergence and it's just a function of the planter where I'm losing depth because of the, the residue or the soil is cooler where the seeds are going but right now um, with the conditions we have my plants are live and, and uh, the leaves are open but you'll go to a neighbor's fully tilled field it looks good in the morning but even with the rain we got on Saturday, they're uh, rolling up their leaves by 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock in the afternoon as we hit 90 degrees. Um, so there's just something about the water holding capacity. Even though my stand isn't what I like, it really makes you mad sometimes. I think for the growing conditions we get and the, the water we get down here, it makes the most sense um, that I'm worse off tilling than I am no tilling with the terrible stands. So I'm going to take the test here and uh, we'll go look at the high yielding field. I'm in the high yielding area of the field and uh, I've taken my canopy measurements. They're 80% uh, over here. So we're, um, we went from 62% last week to 80% this week and uh, probably won't see much change so next week will probably be about shoulder high and maybe we'll get a few points higher. The app is not perfect so I'm kind
kind of thinking this is the last week I'll get useful data. Um, but you can see what the fields looks like. Um, one thing is yesterday I pulled some canopy numbers. So I'll just show you these. These are uh, canopy numbers from my um, variety trials. And you'll see the population listed there, the variety, and the canopy cover. And I'm doing my variety trials in a high fertility area. So compared to what I'm seeing here in my normal fertilizer program, it's very respectable. And on my normal program, I'm at 30,000 plants. So I'm getting a very respectable uh, reading out here. And even in the low field where I got 67%. Um, that's not too uncommon in the other parts of the field. While we're down here we can look at the the plant health and uh, I think it looks really excellent. Again I don't see any light yellow leaves at the bottom where I do in my, a lot of neighbor fields. Um, so I'm hoping that means my potassium is moving up through the roots up to the top leaves instead of st stealing it from the bottom leaves. And I'll take a tissue test here and uh, we'll send it in and get results. Again, I saw a higher phosphorus and nitrogen last week despite no rain. And then uh, we've had an inch and a half of rain. So I'm expecting to see some of my nutrients like potassium come in this week. So thanks for watching and we'll keep following it.